Well, good morning, YouTube. We're going to start on a little project today that I thought would be worthy of a, a video. We found this chest of drawers here along the road for free and initially had a marble top on it that was busted in one spot, maybe two perhaps. And uh, my better half decided that this would be a good deal to put a sink in and make it uh, a vanity in the powder room. Well, that's where we're headed with this. And uh, I got into it a little bit. When I picked it up, there were a few pieces missing. Uh, along the along that edge over there, I guess, is where some of this molding goes. And uh, I thought I was going to have to make some pieces for it, but when I opened up the drawer, by golly, everything was in there, including this piece that goes on that side over there, and this little piece that goes in here. These little pieces right there, I thought I was going to have to make. And then there's the same one over here that I thought I was going to have to make, but by golly, Somebody had the foresight to put them all in there, and we've got them. You can see this is pretty much all pulled apart all the way around here. Uh, you can see over here on this end, it's pulled apart. So what we've got to do in here, pulled apart. So we're going to put this up on the bench, get it good and cleaned up, and blow it out, vacuum it out, what have you, to make sure we get all the bugs and all the dirt and what have you out. And then we're going to start... Uh, figuring this out how best to get this all glued up. I don't think it's going to be that tough to be honest with you. Um, it looks like everything's here. And this thing's really pretty well made. Um, so I'm pretty happy about that. Anyway, uh, that's where we're headed with this. Okay, we'll give you a little bit of an update here on the disassembly. Usually when you start into one of these projects, things get a little weaker as you go along. And what we found here is there's a whole bunch of joints that needed to be replaced so what I was able to do is basically disassemble this thing pretty much this is the front uh, these are the pieces the cross pieces that go from front to back that support the drawers so we took those out and we marked them all labeled everything here's the top again with the spreaders that go from front to back and we labeled those both uh, right side and top versus bottom etc and a couple of things this one's been around quite a while a you can tell by how deep the uh, uh, the grooves are here where the where the drawers have ridden this is probably down a good three-eighths of an inch here I suppose where that's where the drawers ran secondly these nails here are square cut nails they're very small but they're uh, they're a square cut nail which was kind of interesting and uh, we'll get everything cleaned up and then develop a strategy for putting it all back together. All right, a little update. We uh, got all these parts apart. I took some Murphy's oil soap, uh, lightly, with just a little Murphy's oil soap, mostly water, and wiped down all these parts so I could kind of see what I had here and what have you. And this part now, this is the back and the bottom uh, spreaders here. And these are both pretty solid and I'm not going to take it apart any further there is a little bit of play right in here but nothing significant for the most part and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread it out just a shade and let some glue drip into the back there uh, into that dado in that tenon back there and let the glue drip down in there a little bit without spreading it apart too far. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And then I'm going to clamp that up. And I think these then will be pretty solid. And then we can go ahead and start putting the spreaders back up here. And we'll put those on. Got these joints spread apart a little bit with a screwdriver. And I'm putting some glue on there. Then I'll just kind of spread it down that little joint there with a toothpick. And back in here, I was able to just keep, you can barely see, but I was just able to keep doing that with the toothpick, and that will get the glue to go down, follow down behind that tenon there. And did the same thing on this side. This one's a little tighter, so it's probably not getting quite as much glue. But I think I'll do that a little bit more, and I think we'll have enough in there to, to put a clamp on it. Okay, I'm putting these uh, spreaders back on the right side here. I'm gonna give it a little help, actually. This is where those nails were, those square nails, and I'm uh, putting a little screw in there, to, a couple little screws in each of these, help stiffen it up a little bit. All right, 
right, we've got this ball pretty well clamped up for what I, as far as all those spreaders on there. Still need to do the top ones. We've got all our clamps off. We've got these spreaders put in here. I had to shift gears a little bit on my original plan. What I was planning to do first was just to put these spreaders here in and then put this whole front piece on, uh, which is all one piece. And as I was putting these on, I was having a really hard time keeping them square uh, because they're a little, uh, they're not an exact dimension and they weren't fitting properly right down here and when I put, put a clamp on them they were tilting in. So now I've got that all on, all the tenons uh, all the way around are, are glued where they go into the uh, into this face frame and I've got it clamped up now on the edges. Okay we've got this uh, all this front face on now and uh, looks like it's glued, glued up pretty well. Still have a few things to replace these I've got. I need to put these in and there's a few little pieces around here like this that I need to glue up a little bit. So the next major step is to put in these side panels back in. My able-bodied assistant here is putting a coat of uh, Howard's Restora finish. It works pretty good on stuff like this. So it's, uh, it's actually looking pretty good. You can see it brings out some of the color. Got this, some holes for the plumbing cut in the back. And uh, we're getting just about ready to put that bad boy in place.